Guys, I'm going to show you some Emacs commands for manipulating images. For example, converting images to from JP, JPEG to PNG or vice versa, and shrink images and uh, and other stuff. Um, so let me show you, let me show you. So this is this is my blog. You see all these images. Uh, okay, so. I'm gonna just show you several commands. Um, okay, for example, this one, mask, mask of the Red Death. Okay, that's a pretty image. Um, now you see this is the link. Um, by the way, on, on the other window, you can see all the commands I'm calling. Uh, it shows on this window. So anyway, so this is the image. This is the image pass. I open it, and you see a image. But this image's starting name is ZTN. I don't want that because that's my old format. I, I have a new format. So I open it. I want to delete it. So I press a key. And the command is called start delete current file. You know, and so that's good. So I, now if I open it, it's, it's uh, you know, it doesn't exist anymore. So, OK, so I remove that. Now open that file and look at in the browser. You see, this is a huge, this is a original uh, image and let's go here so it's it's this one and now I want to shrink it so I have a command look uh, I call that command it's called xar create thumbnail image so it asks me what width so two, 250 pixels is good so I press enter you see it automatically insert the new files path for me so I, I can open it and you see this is the new one so notice the name is um, is just the file name with the uh, size attached at the end so I can copy that close this buffer and we are back to where we were and paste it and uh, call a command xhtml image linkify so there it is add a uh, break and look uh, you see, so this is a new file. You can see if we open the file, go to the directory, this is the file, and the file before was this one. You know, I just changed the format. Um, so, so, so the same images have the same starting name, you know, basically, basically. So, you can see there are ZT and there are a few other I want to do this one as well. Let's, so let's let's do it then. Okay, open, delete. Uh, the original file is without ZTN. That's right. So call the command. A new path. Uh, make a link. Delete a old path. Save. Go back here. Reload. You see, it's it's basically the same. Uh, maybe a bit smaller. So. So that's that's what I want to so, so that's one of the command. Now um, let, let's look at another one ZTN. So that command I just show you is a uh, it lets you create a thumbnail uh, of any size you s you specify. And uh, and it has an interesting interface such that you do it directly in HTML in like in your HTML file that links to that file without having to open the image and to and call the command on the image so so that command is called it's this one um, so I create thumbnail image and remember remember the interface is from HTML file itself because I'm gonna show you something interesting about that uh, in a bit so okay so here's another one okay I don't want that anymore uh, right so uh, open it delete it uh, and uh, the original file is this one so now I want to um, let's see um, okay so so let's say this one right this one is over here um, and I want to let's say I want to convert it to PNG. Typically, you want to convert PNG from JPEG. Uh, I mean JPEG, uh, PNG to JPEG. But 
yeah um, I don't have an example well let's just do this one this let's convert J, uh, JPEG to PNG uh, yeah so let's change it to uh, this is not a good example a actually so let's not do that one let's just uh, do this here first okay anyway so okay this is a good image to uh, try to convert okay this Alice in Wonderland so let's go to Alice so here is the image okay it's ZTN again I need to change that uh, okay but um, let's go to here Alice in Wonderland no okay um, let's go here okay let's go to the top the, here is the image PNG rabbit white white rabbit so I want to this is PNG I want to convert to JPEG so I just call a command um, this command hey, what wait revert buffer oh uh, it's already done it's so fast <laughs> it's already done wait, is that right I don't know yeah it's already done so you see there's a JPEG file of the same Im image and this is the old one so the command is actually so let, let's do it again so I just delete that okay so this is the image I can do it in while in the image or in diet buffer so let's do it in in the image so I call the command um, the command is called uh, usually I use a key so I don't so the command is called let's see this one so start dire to JPEG and the key is just uh, F10 comma T that's that's my Vora key so anyway so let's call that command let's do that so open the file call MX start dire to JPEG done um, now it's asking me to revert buffer it shouldn't there's some issue there I, I don't know why it's asking me because it actually created a different file uh, refresh the diet buffer you can see it created a different file here now if I have a JPEG file I want to convert it to PNG I can as well so the, so what are the commands you have for uh, like I have let's see these are the commands so create thumbnail image auto crab that's that's a good one show metadata uh, dire to drawing that's basically to PNG but reduce the color to 2 or 16 or 256 that will drastically reduce the file size scale image uh, uh, open open in GIMP and dire to JPEG uh, and uh, remove metadata so let's try the metadata one there it is here's the uh, okay the command the key is this so cloud diet show metadata so you can see the metadata like like especially when you have a photograph sometimes it contains the GPS location and you don't want that so you know that's com so you can you know convenient you can look at what metadata the file have and you can call a command to remove it it asks you sure to remove yes uh, you know remove metadata so so that's the uh, file um, that's the file commands what is this one okay so, so, I mean so that that are the uh, commands you can see all the all these are command the uh, image related commands so I'm gonna um, show you actually I have it in my tutorial uh, somewhere here okay wait back so okay so in this website in this URL you can see uh, I have it all documented here in the code so you can you can you know cop you know copy it grab it and use it okay so image so all most of these images they either work on the image file itself like on like, like you know in this buffer 
well you have an image uh, open and you can call one of those commands to scale it or um, let, let's try an example let's okay let's try so so this one Alice um, so you can work in the buffer or you can work in diet so let's try this one so I want to scale you see this this I want to scale it let's say 50 percent so I call a command um, you see that's a command so it asks me uh, scale percentage I say 50 yes and you ask me if I want to sharpen yes and there it, there it is a new file you see it's it's smaller okay delete it so the command is called um, uh, star diet scale image so that's scanning the image what else I want uh, okay so there are two you, you, you know the, these commands can work in diet or you, you can actually also uh, select a bunch of files let's say this one that one and um, oops and that one and you can then then when you call the command it will work on all these files let's try it do it oh, oh okay it just convert to JP, jpeg yeah that's that's what's supposed to happen okay so now we don't want that let's mark for delete and delete those okay so what else let's see oh yeah so so they work in in the diet in diet to edit you know diet interface or you can call the command on the file uh, itself however they are different from the earlier command I showed you create thumbnail image that one works from um, a HTML file itself so so let's go to the code uh, so this is the this is a file that contains all the code for these commands and uh, you see so now I have two different interfaces one is working in diet or the image file the other one is working in HTML um, let's see thumbnail so yeah so this command is working um, within HTML you know working within in HTML is very convenient I actually find myself you know going to diet is one more step you know usually I don't want to go to diet so you know I can uh, for example this this uh, I can just um, you know create a thumbnail or something uh, or if I want to scale it or convert to JPEG for example this this one is PNG so let's convert it to JPEG so if I want to do that I have to open it first then call the command uh, then then you can see uh, there's a JPEG version um, but you know it's a ex I, I find myself that it's an extra step you know having to need to go to diet so so the late the the latest command I wrote is this um, is this uh, create thumbnail which which uses uh, you know directly from the HTML HTML file so you know I can do that and there it is you know new image um, I don't have to you know go to diet this this is convenient because you know for example if we do this one convert to JPEG uh, open it convert to JPEG then I have to go to diet then I have to uh, grab the file path close it close it close it uh, wait close it and put and paste in the file path and you know make a link so it's several extra steps okay so I have been thinking uh, let's go to the emac list file for these commands so I've been thinking to convert all this all these image commands into uh, to be able to use both interface so for example when you are in HTML uh, file then it will automatically grab the link um, you know grab the link as the, as the file path uh, input to work on image to work on but if you uh, if your buffer is an image file 
then you just you know use that image file as a input as the input and if if your um, buffer is a diode buffer then you will just use uh, whatever marked file if there's no marked file just use the current one you know the one under the cursor so that you know so that's a task to um, do uh, let's go back to the yeah so you see all these commands um, that's the thing I, I need to write so so to do that um, it will take an hour I think you know uh, no you know one hour is probably it um, and I was going to show you um, I want to show you know but maybe next day but because this video is already 15 minutes or something like that so um, so yeah so okay that's that's it for today uh, thanks for watching and remember you can uh, you know use these commands if you have some thoughts or comments well, yeah comment you know comment on YouTube and you know let me know and let me know what you think or uh, what do you like to see in the future uh, and I might you know I might do a you know a e e emac list coding session for you know for this task yeah let me know if you want to see that thank you for watching Happy New Year, Happy 19, uh, 2019, wow, okay, yeah, it's 2019, so one more year is 2020, it's amazing, the technology advancements in AI, you know, you wonder what the future is going to be, so anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, have a good day, bye.